We'll take first question on the third row on the hey, left. Hey, Steph, uh, Steve Reef and Associated Press. Um, Obviously, tonight probably didn't go as, as well as you wanted it to, but uh, could you just kind of put a, a bow on the weekend and what it's been like uh, this whole weekend? It's an amazing weekend being back in Charlotte and uh, pretty much everything I imagined it to be. Having my family, friends, people I grew up with uh, kind of come out and, and, and celebrate how influential and important Charlotte is to, to me and my entire family. So um, obviously ending up tonight, Playing an all-star game here is very surreal. And one I'll remember for a very long time, despite the missed shots and the loss, for sure. Next row back. Steph, uh, Mark Medina Bay Area News Group. Can you take us through the play where you hit the three falling down over Clay and what the banner was like afterwards? <laughs> From the time he checked in, we were going back and forth. I, I wanted to guard him every chance I got and him vice versa. So uh, I feel like any possession I touched the ball with him on me, I was just going to shoot no matter what. And uh, it worked out in my favor, that, that possession. He fell asleep for a hot second, tried to close out, um, and I sold the call for sure. So nice to see that one. If I was going to make one shot out of the 23, I took it. It had to be that one. Third row on the left side. Anthony Slater with The Athletic. Uh, Steph, did, uh, how surprised were you on the, on the bounce pass to Giannis that he actually finished it? I mean, just take us through that play. I bounced it really high, and uh, a lot of time in between, you know, when it hit the ground to him dunking it. Obviously, the timing was unreal. His length, you know, finishing it and and uh, and getting it before it came down, pretty bang bang play. Just uh, glad we got had that connection. Uh, I'm not sure anybody else on the floor could have finished that one. So, for it to be choreographed like that was pretty nice. Back row, center. Manolo Rodriguez from Tap Deportes, Puerto Rico. You showcased your talent to the whole city that saw you grow up, but you blessed more children when you were here during the All-Star weekend. How do you feel blessing other people that saw you grow up and they now can have that opportunity to be blessed by you? I mean, it's important because there were resources I had growing up that kind of set me on my way here in Charlotte, and uh, I was fortunate in that in that sense, and so... Coming back here, there's definitely an awareness and an opportunity to uh, impact the community, not just this weekend, but you know, going forward with certain programs that we're going to have at the uh, Kara Hafner uh, Rec Recreation Center. And so I used to have practices over there, and the entire uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg Recreation uh, Department, in terms of all the different places that they provide for, for kids to be able to go, uh, not just play sports, but uh, you know, get a better education, invest in themselves. You know, and I, me and my family thought that was an extremely important opportunity. And again, something that year after year, hopefully we can come back and continue to reinvest. Jamal, right here. Jamal Murphy, Bill Roden on sports. How good did it, good did it feel to get that dunk at the end? Yeah, for all y'all that saw me in LA uh, a couple of months ago, I, re I redeemed myself. <laughs> so that was uh, the best part of my night for sure. Front row on your left. Lauren Jones, LA Sentinel. Um, just can you describe the dynamic between you and Clay and just to be able to go against him? He pointed to you after <laughs> knocking down a three in the corner and just talk about that dynamic. Yeah, I mean, we're obviously each other's biggest supporters, uh, but we kind of do it in a fun way. We talk so much trash to each other. Like, um, there's a couple sayings we throw out there when each of us is shooting. And we almost like get happy when the other one misses. Like it's just a weird kind of vibe, but it's it comes from a good place. And so, um, yeah, I was yelling at him. I, I'll yell at him when we were playing for the Warriors and we we're on the same team. I think it's because we feed off of the competition and you know trying to be better than each other at shooting the basketball. So uh, that that always kind of be the vibe for sure. We got a rod on the back left, and then back here for the last question. Rob with The Athletic, right here, Steph. Just wondering what it's like, somebody who's born and raised here, what it's like to see Kemba Walker just get the love that he got from the people tonight and just his, his, his career here so far in Charlotte. Uh, for me growing up, obviously, with the Horn organization being here, representing the city, 
leaving and then coming back. It's a different name. Now the Hornets again. Like, there's just a lot of history here uh, from a basketball perspective. And I think I felt it everywhere I went, and celebrating you know, my dad and Muggsy, Lonzo Mourning, Glenn Rice, uh, Larry Johnson, Kendall Gill, all those guys that, that suited up for the Hornets. You know, Kemba, he's breaking all these records. And it's unbelievable to see how he's, one, established himself as a, a, a premier NBA player. Uh, but to do it here in Charlotte and get the city behind him and, and give him something to root for, I think it's truly special and something I, uh, I respect so much uh, from his standpoint. And, and hopefully he stays here you know, for a long time. Who knows how that will work out. But just the way this weekend all came together with a little, you know, uh, older guys and, 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 and the new regime with Kemba uh, kind of all celebrate what it means to be a Hornet. Uh, that was pretty special. Last question in the back right. Steph, Dustin Fife for Fox Sports Southeast. I kind of asked my question, but a follow-up. Do you, with those records being broken here by Kemba, do you give your dad a hard time about that a lot with most of his records going down? Uh, no, nah, my brother was making a joke. He said if the All-Star game was here two years ago, they could have announced him still as the all-time leading scorer in Hornets history, but since then, Kemba's broken that. So uh, definitely I don't give anybody, you know, flack for playing 16 years, 10 here in Charlotte, the last original Hornet. Um, and now it, still in the organization, obviously, as a color commentator uh, for the team and, and a, pretty much an ambassador throughout the city and throughout the state. So um, I've, been, I've been trying to get him to move out to the Bay and this speaks to how much of uh, this is home because uh, that's a, it's been a really hard uh, selling point. So this is uh, this is where this is where home is for him. Thanks, Steph. Paul George will be next.